And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're heading off to Bonners Ferry. Just for somewhere just totally different. We're going to give the aerolite another fling around the sky and see what we can't get out of it as well. I'm still interested to see whether it's I can control this spinning. This isn't a great little model of this all set up and ready to go. It's a popular little airport, this one. This one can actually get in with Orbix as well, but it doesn't come out for X-Plane. So if you're a P3D flyer, then you'll get it. But otherwise, you have to just be patient. Now, this has been around for a long time. Edwin Bonner was a merchant from Walla Walla in Washington who established um, the ferry in 1864. So this is a pretty pretty old town. So we're going to head out and have a bit of a fly around and uh, check out some of the scenery that's here. We're heading over towards the water. Now, I think the um, the passage or has got a bridge over to the right there. And there's another bridge, um, I think, over to the left. So we can head out here and just check out the handling a little as well. Scenery is really good here. The quality of the scenery in the UK, US is uh, just heaps better than what we see here in Australia. So just giving this stall thing another go and just see if it goes and there we go. Out to the right again. I've got the left rudder down so I've got opposite rudder trying to hold this thing steady. Um, I'm trying to rock it tried power on power off to try and get this thing to stop but apparently it wasn't as bad as chatting to uh, some of my subscribers about this and uh, they reckon it wasn't as bad as this before but it's really sensitive now so the result is as it was previously there is just nothing you can do once it gets into a flat spin but once you got it spinning it's that's the result <laughs> so let's get let's head back out now the other thing that i really love with this x-plane is the scenery and the transport and the other objects that are around here so we're flying low level down the roads here you can see all the traffic scooting around there's trains and there's all sorts so we needed some animals some animals would make it interesting we've got some uh what have we got there we've got a fairly decent sized truck as we head out and across. It's a real pity there's no curves here. It's interesting to see how those things just bounce across the um, across the hills. I'm having a guess this is actually Bonner's Ferry Town. You see the uh, the modelling on the, the arrow lights really good. You see all the cabling and all everything. I spotted this train and I thought I'm just toying with whether we should try and land on the top of it or not. The low, low speed handling is pretty good. But then I spotted, yes, I spotted a bridge. And we know what we've got to do with bridges. <laughs> What's the trucks fall through the road? Never mind. And down we go again underneath. And get out of here in one piece. Flying down the valleys, lots of trees, and the water looks the water looks pretty good. You do a little bit of a uh, an edge on the water, just a bit of a shoreline, and there's our train again. <laughs> so let's head around and uh, let's see. should we try and land on it? Do you reckon? It's not a bad little train. It's interesting that we have them. So let's head back. I decided against landing it. So let's try, um, let's do some arrows and see what this uh, aero light can do. Let's get a little bit of speed up. And we'll try a loop first, if we can do a reasonable loop. Okay, nose down. The speed up and then without pulling too hard up and over the top back through the horizon 
now, not pulling too hard again. And that wasn't too bad at all, it was relatively smooth. Let's try and get a bit more speed up again. Let's give it another go. I'm not sure if you'd get away with it in a real 103, but you'd be able to do it in here okay without breaking anything. Let's head back a little bit further now. We haven't done any rolls, so maybe a roll is something we should have a go at. The scenery looks really good following the river down there. Let's get that nose down again and give it another roll. Speed, got plenty of that. Nose up, rolling ailerons around the horizon. There we go, level out. That wasn't too bad. Reasonably smooth. Let's try and do that again from outside. So here we go. Flying in, nose down. Speed up, up and around. That looks a little bit more radical than it did from inside. Here's <laughs> the trucks, are back. trucks and the cars are back again. Let's head over and have a look at the FedEx. Probably one of the easy things with this is that the you can maintain the speed pretty well. You just oh, just missed that one. So we head back towards the airport. What's that? That's a UPS truck. Now I considered again landing on top of this damn thing, but I, I don't think there's anything that's solid about it. I think we just fall through it. We can fly just above it. And there's the airport back there again, so we're heading back towards Bonners Ferry after our little flight. The trees and the grass and the textures all look pretty good. There's no ortho, this is all default, so I think it's pretty reasonable. I'm sure it would real look really nice if we had uh, if Orbix had done the done the work and made their current one. Uh, X-Plane available. There we go. Down here on final, heading in towards Bonus Ferry. This thing only lands in like 100 metres or something. So it takes hardly any time at all. I've let the speed drop right off, so I'm not even going to make this smooth. I'm going to bounce. Yeah, I hit that a little bit harder than I should have done. So let's taxi back and see what is down here in the default scenery of Bonus Ferry. A lot of lighting on the taxiway, so the lines are pretty well done. Turn right and we'll head down there. Whoever's built the scenery for this has done a really good job. There's a few um, building stuff that I know from libraries within doing overlay editor stuff, building some of my own airports. Those uh, large ones there are pretty common hangers. The taxi's pretty well. So we'll get back. There's plenty of aircraft and stuff around here as well. A few fuel tanks. We'll taxi it in this way, just follow it around. There's plenty of buildings. It just misses out on people. But the people, when they build these airports, don't seem to add the people. Just having a few around just gives that little bit of life. It would be really good. That's why I like to put them in personally. And we're back. So we've had a good fly around. We've done a few aeros. We've had a bit of fun with some trucks and some trains, which is always uh, something a little bit different to do. And uh, had a look at the scenery here at Bonners Ferry. So great little bit of work. As far as whoever built this, a good pat on your back or whoever created this. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to come back and uh, also hit that subscribe button and visit letsflyvfr.com if you're uh, looking for anything and i will catch you back here again real soon or let's fly vfr catch you again soon bye